Hey guys, I, I wanted to make this video because uh, the woman in this video says something that's very profound as a Christian. Uh, it's six, seven woman is worried dad won't approve of her short, short boyfriend. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play a, a clip of the point I want to address on. And then I want to go down to the comments and a young woman made a comment. So let me go ahead and first play the short clip. Christmas. And then the day after Christmas, like, all right, buddy, I'm a free woman. Right? So Better put a ring on it. Well, I'm saying no. Brian and I are waiting for marriage to be together intimately. Um, after I had become saved and become very adamant about my faith, I said, I don't, I don't want a checklist. I don't care if they're taller or blonde or a surfer or whatever. I just want them to love Jesus more than they could ever love me. Bingo. That's it right there. That's what you're looking for in a spouse. To those of you that are single and Christian, that is what you're looking for. Now, I was reading the comments and, I, and this one popped out to me. I think they're cute. I think they're really cute together. It's just weird, kind of weird to know Brian will always love Jesus more. Now, in her ignorant mind, in her worldly mindset, okay, that makes sense to her. Okay, but she has no idea what she's saying. Okay, because she doesn't know Jesus. She doesn't know Christ. She doesn't know what that means to be a, a slave to righteousness. Let me explain something to you. Let me break it down to you why your partner loving, respecting, esteeming, honoring Christ more than they do you is the most vital aspect of your marriage. And the reason why your marriage will make it until death do you part. If you are a Christian woman, okay, and your husband is a Christian man true Christians okay and your husband goes to work every day and on the job there is an attractive co-worker who is hitting on him okay the reason why he is going to respect and honor his wife even when his wife is not around is because of the fear he has for the Lord okay Proverbs 19 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom okay that wisdom leads us through our lives in a biblical uh, manner regardless of how the relationship the marriage is going whether it's good whether it's rocky or whether it's it's good that Christian husband is going to remain faithful because he honors the Lord Jesus Christ and he knows that the Lord he knows that he's accountable he's being held accountable for his actions okay and see that's the difference between Christians and lost people lost people and I've said it before they're outlaws because they're not held accountable to a higher power that judges okay they're only held accountable to the desires of their wicked carnal heart okay so the reason why he's going to curve that co-worker the reason why he's going to let her know that I'm a happily married man is because his Lord Jesus Christ saved him okay and he is now living his life to the glory of God and that would not uh, bring glory to God by dishonoring his wife by committing adultery with the woman at the job the reason that Christian wife is going to honor her husband when her husband is at work and she's at home taking care of the kids and a, a male neighbor comes over to chat is because she fears the Lord okay she loves Jesus her loving Jesus more than her husband is going to protect her husband because she fears the Lord Do you understand how that works okay so this young lady here says I think they're really cute together. It's just kind of weird to know Brian will always love Jesus more. If she knew what she was saying, if she knew what she was saying, she would know the error in what she just said. See, this young lady is lost. And this young lady is going to find a man who loves her and esteems her higher than he does Jesus Christ. And guess what's going to happen? He's going to cheat on her. He's going to abuse her. He's going to disrespect her. That's what happens. Why? Because he doesn't serve God. OK, see, people who are lost when they get into a relationship, guess what? Do you, do you understand why they're getting into that relationship? They're getting into that relationship to be pleased, to be uh, served. See, people don't lost. People don't get into relationships to serve. They don't get into marriages to lay down their life. They get in marriages to be served. OK, to be made happy. This is why. Uh, whenever you, you ask a lot of women what they're looking for in a man, they just say, oh, I just want somebody that'll make me happy. I just want somebody, a man that'll make my life better. It's all about me, 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 me. And that's why that woman is going to betray that man. Because when he stops providing what she originally got with him for, she's out of there. 
I remember a clip by a uh, clip by J Lo, the singer, the actress, the woman. She had been jumping from man to man to man, and I remember she was interviewed, and the and she she said this in the interview, and this is exactly how it is for lost women and men. She said, "Whenever I lose that feeling about my partner, I it, that that's the clue that tells me he's not the one. So that I got to keep looking. So what she's essentially saying is, once those feelings stop." OK, if the if those feelings stop and they always do those butterflies you get when you first start a relationship and they call that the honeymoon phase. OK, once those die down, it's called butterflies because butterflies fly away. OK, and that's what happens to those feelings. After a while, they dissipate, they go away. What she's saying is when if that happens and it always does happen, that must mean he's not the one. OK, and so that's why she was continually jumping from boyfriend, the different guy, to different guy, to different guy. Um, you know, I know you've all heard it, follow your heart. Okay. That's one of the most demonic catchphrases that's ever been created. Just follow your heart. Okay. If you, if someone tells someone that what they're essentially telling them is to follow that, which is wicked and cannot be trusted. Jeremiah 17, nine, the heart is deceitfully wicked and cannot be trusted. So you're essentially telling the person to follow that, which is that you can't trust and is going to deceive you and send you to hell. OK, we are to follow Christ We are to follow Christ and we are to esteem Christ higher than our partner. So us as Christians know that it is important for us to marry people that are going to submit to the will of God above anything that we would want them to submit to that their relationship with Christ is going to benefit us. OK, so, yes, that's why we want someone that loves Jesus more than they love us. Because Jesus is going to protect them or to protect us from their sin. You see how that works? I can trust if I had a wife who was a Christian, I could trust her being out in the world because I know she knows and fears the Lord. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, this is a really interesting clip. You know, um, from what I can see, this woman is truly Christian and they're going about it the right way. They're waiting until marriage to uh, conceive and to, uh, to, to, you know have sex um and, I, and that's it, I, I love to see that because you don't see that enough on tv anymore um so you know i'm subscribed to tlc uk and every now and then something will pop out to me and i'll hit i'll check it out so i will post a link to this clip if you want to check that out as well uh, thank you for listening